Well, I thought since that we're going to be looking more and more at natural news this year, I thought we're better to start than with the man himself, the Health Ranger, a.k.a. Mike Adams. And, my God, this biography that he has put about himself just is hilarious. Because you would not write a biography about this if you didn't want to convince people that you were somehow this uh, this intelligent savant. And, oh boy, let's begin. So, we'll start off with reading the biological, bio, biographical history. So, Mike Adams was born in 1967 in Lawrence, Kansas. He holds a Bachelor of Science degree. In what? Well, going from what they say, I'm guessing that this is some sort of in computer science or some sort of IT. Now, just because you have a Bachelor of Science doesn't mean you are a scientist. I myself hold a Bachelor of Science, however it is in media production. This does not make me a scientist. I would not start going around saying I can comment on physics or chemistry or whatever like Mike Adams seems to think he can do. But hey... <sighs> He holds, yeah, here we are, in the college, this is, the, this is where it starts to get good. This is what I start telling you at the beginning, where it's this trying to make him out to be this, you know, intelligent genius savant person. So in college entrance exams, his graduate school entrance exams, Ad Adams scored in the 99.9th percent across all US students. He aced English, Mathematics and Science sections of the college entrance exams, scoring 100% on three out of the four sections, earning numerous offers of scholarships from various universities, including Massachusetts Institute of Technology, which he chose not to attend. So what did he do instead? Well, Adams decided that instead of that, <coughs> he would launch his own software company in 1993. The software company went on to become a multi-billion dollar entity that provided email technology solutions to many Fortune 500 firms, which specialise in email alert technologies for universities and government offices. What company was this? I don't know. Adams might have owned a company, but to be honest, given what the rest he puts in this biography of him, I'm highly sceptical of pretty much everything in this. Now, this is what makes me funny, because lifestyle. Adams has no criminal record and has never been arrested and avoids alcohol, smoking, coffee and all recreational drugs. He has never used recreational drugs his entire life. <coughs> That's just weird. That's just incredibly weird to put in your biography. Because that makes it sound like you have, but you're just denying it off the bat. Now, he might not have um, done that, but considering what this biography goes on to claims, as I've said at the beginning, I am highly sceptical of the man. Uh, education. Adams has a four-year Bachelor of Science degree from a prominent university in the Midwest. Which university was this? They don't say. <laughs> Yet he was highly motivated to put down, yeah, I was refused, I was offered to go to MIT, but I didn't go. So I went to this other university in the Midwest instead. <sighs> he has minors in mathematics and economics. And then I love this because apparently... Not only does he have two minors on the go, but also his main major, which is what he is meant to be studying, he also decided to study microbiology and genetics. He also studied anthropology, literature, logic, labour law, Greek history, computer science, international trade, classical Adam Smith economics, musical composition and theory. <coughs> and that is insane. 
Why? Who ha who has time to study all that at college? I'm calling bullshit. And of course, it doesn't stop there. Because Mike Adams, according to this, is also a musical savant as well, in the, in the style of Beethoven. Because as a child, Mike Adams was a f found to be extraordinarily gifted in music composition. He began studying piano and keyboard at the age of five. He took on percussion, sorry, percussion, I uh, can't say it. <laughs> Percussion studies by age six, and by age twelve, he was creating elaborate keyboard competition compositions and publicly performing at music talent compositions. <coughs> that is ridiculous. No way. This is this is made. This is biography is entirely made to make him look more than he is. Of course, areas of expertise. Mike Adams has personally authored over 2,000 articles, including investigative articles, satire, and op-ed. His writings have been collectively read by over 100 million of people in the past decade. His articles demonstrate a diverse knowledge in many subjects, which, if you know anything about natural news, is actually hilarious, including physiology, anthropology, cosmology, US history, philosophy, economics, money, finance, nutrition, politics, civil rights, plant biology, intellectual property law, chemistry, physics, quantum phenomena, agriculture, linguistics, microbiology, neurolinguistics, and more. So, as I said before, this guy must be some sort of genius ahead of his time, because there is no way he can know all those subjects at once. You cannot be this good at all the subjects. It is literally impossible. Even if you went to a guy who was like the top in his field of quantum physics and said, okay, now go and be the top in, you know, biology, there is no way he would be able to, you know, be level in those two fields. There is no way at all. And people are going to come at me and say, oh, you're just jealous of how smart Mike Adams is. Well, <laughs> given what he claims next, I don't really think he is. Because Adams owned a Rubik's Cube in seventh grade and astonished his classmates by solving it in under a minute. His record solved time was 26 seconds, a respectable number in even today's speed cubing competitions using far more advanced algorithms. This guy is setting himself up to be some sort of genius when he is not. If you if you know anything about natural news, you know what I'm talking about. And of course, by the age of 14, Adams was a accomplished computer programmer, entirely self-taught on the computer. He developed his own algorithms and programs and drew mathematical complex shapes on the screen. In high school, he wrote one of the first Canon Wars games. For the Apple IIe computer, the game was widely pirated across his school district. And of course, in brackets, this was Adam's first experience of having his advanced creative work stolen by others. This is just ridiculous. And then, of course, throughout his 20s, because, of course, studying all those subjects, you know, <laughs> he continues in computer science. Adams continued to develop high-level computer algorithms, and by the age of 25, he built an evolutionary stock market trading system that learned from its own mistakes to develop trading systems that beat market averages over 20% annu annually. He never commercialized the system and found himself caught in the growth of his computer company's software instead. So, not only is Adam some genius, but he also developed... AI, an artificial intelligent program that can somehow beat um, humans at the stock market and also get an annually 20% return on all his, his investments. 
That is stupid beyond compare. Why the hell, Mike Adams, are you claiming that you can do that? So, where's the other one? Uh, oh yeah, this is the other one that he's claimed to have do developed. Adam's technical speciality is in the use of computer science algorithms to phrase written text. Over the years, he has developed numerous algorithms for finding, for finding hidden signals in large bodies of text. Adam possesses the technology to monitor trends and make predictions about get ready for it, bank runs, epidemic disease, race wars, and other issues reflected in human conditions on the net. To date, he has not deployed such technology and has not announced any plans to do so. So not only has Mike Adams written a AI that can somehow run the stock market, and if he did, he would be making billions off the stock market, but also, he has written an intelligent program that can somehow predict bank runs, epidemic diseases, race wars, <coughs> and other issues. What? What? And then it gets on to be even better. Because Mike Adams on his patents. Because according to this... Mike Adams has authored a patent application in 1995 for a Google Glass-like device and says that he did not have the funds to afford the patent application process, then that means you didn't patent it, then why is it in your patent, which you are claiming you have the patent for? His patent envisioned a device being used in a context that is called augmented reality, today where virtual reality avatars would guide the tech users by interacting <coughs> with the real world around them. That is ridiculous. I guarantee you, if you went back a couple of years before Google Glass was even a thing or talked about, that wouldn't be there. This is what I've said from the very beginning. It's setting out to, be, to make Mike Adams some sort of genius. And of course, this gets even better. Because today, Adams has capitalized on a... Cap yeah, conceptualized on a breakthrough camouflage technology which would allow battlefield soldiers to be virtually invisible on the battlefield. The technology specifically suppresses all evidence of movement using a novel approach that overcomes nearly all weaknesses of modern day pattern based camouflage. So somehow Adams has developed this technology which is better than soldiers wearing camouflage. And wait for it, because it gets better. What is the prototype technology called? Predator camouflage. He hopes to develop a working prototype before the year 2020. It is called predator camouflage because to the observer, the subject appears to be see-through, especially while moving. And a quote from Adams himself, the problem with present, present day camouflage, Adams says, is that you are only hidden as long as you do not move. <coughs> Congratulations, Adam. That is the point of camouflage. The instant you begin to move, you become visible. In predator camouflage, your movement will essentially uh, enhance the effectiveness of the camouflage, making you more invisible than you were if you were motionless. That is ridiculous. But it gets even better, because in the philosophy section... We get Adam saying, our universe was engineered by a greater creative conscience, consciousness, possibly a higher advanced civilization of intelligent beings. Our universe is just one, one of many that exist. So, yes, this genius also believes in ID, intelligent design, and thinks that aliens did it. And of course... Advanced intelligent beings have visited the Earth in prehistory, as evidence includes left behind in monuments and vast ancient airfields. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's Mike Adams, a.k.a. the Health Ranger. The genius-level savant who runs Natural News. 
Oh boy, what wonders await us this year looking more heavily at natural news?